Hey viewers, uh, today I'm working on my Cannondale Hybrid and um, when I got it it had no wheels and so I got this wheel here it's got a, uh, a hub on here for an 8 or 9 speed cassette on there but what I need on the bike is a 7 speed cassette so I have a 7 speed cassette here but there's a, a wrinkle in installing a 7 speed cassette on a hub designed for an 8 or 9 speed uh, cassette um, so right here, here's the big little notch in there, so I have to line this up with there. I put this on here like this, and then I got the first little cog here, um, put that on there. So that sits on there like this, and so this would be tightened down with a little lock ring, but see how there's a big spacer in there. This is just not as wide as an 8 or 9 speed cassette. So what I need to do is install a spacer. So I have a four and a half millimeter spacer and this will slide down like that. I put this on here like this and then I have the, the part here like this. And now I can put the lock rake on here. But there's yet another little wrinkle here um, with this spacer. Um, if I tighten this down here like this the cassette is going to have a slight wobble in it. The reason being is on the back of this uh, cassette, and this is a Shimano cassette, um, and I've seen a couple of cassettes, they have two out of three rivets, rivets on the back here. And that's kind of the way it's supposed to be, because uh, there's like the rivet there, rivet there, no rivet, rivet there, you go over here, rivet, rivet, no rivet. And the problem is with the spacer, it's going to sit right onto these little rivets. These come up a little bit, and so it's going to be slightly off, and you're going to have a little bit of wobble on there. Now, here's another spacer that I have, and this is a two millimeter spacer. But what's really nice about this is it's got little uh, notches here that match up to right where the rivets are and so then this spacer is going to sit nice and flat up against the cassette so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, four and a half millimeter uh, spacer here and I'm going to file some notches in it matching up with these three little spots there where the rivets are, would be Actually, it's only going to uh, accommodate two of them, but there'll be a blank spot there, and that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and file that right now. Okay, I've got my spacer here, and I filed the little notches in there. And I want to place this so that the notches are facing up on here. And I want to have them line up so with where the rivets are. And so if I locate, there's the, uh, the big notch here, like this. And then on the next notch over is the rivet. So here's the uh, big slot here. If I go ahead and turn so that one of the notches is lined up with this notch here, then I go ahead and place this down. Like this. And then look underneath just to verify that the uh, notch is in fact lined up with the rivet underneath then I've got the small cog here put the lock ring on tighten it down like that then using my torque wrench I want to torque it down to the uh, torque measurement specified on here which is 40 newton meters so tighten this down and like that there all done now I have my 7 speed cassette installed on the hub that was designed for an 8 or 9 speed cassette and that's how you do it 
I hope that helped. I hope you found this video useful or interesting. If you have, please click like. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos and it helps me out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can click the big yellow button here. It says subscribe. And you'll see new videos as they come out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped.